Hi everybody, it's Mark for Foxwell. Just received a new box of various tablet scanners and we're going to start unboxing and show you what they've sent. They do box these things rather well. And from what I understand, we've got uh, an I-80TS, which is their new uh, tablet scanner in a big box that also does a full full range diagnostic scanner but also does TPMS. It also performs TPMS functions. Uh, so let me see here. We've got the packaging material and we've got TPMS sensors. Uh, Foxwell sent me a bunch of these uh, last year and what I did and I Told them, I said, hey, let me let me put them in some cars and see how they do. And so far, I've, I've put them in Hondas, I've put them in Jeeps, I've put them in Chryslers, uh, uh, put them in Subaru. And they work perfectly. I uh, haven't had one come back yet, uh, saying that the sensor hasn't worked. So, pretty cool. Now, this here, I've got, uh, this is an i72. Uh, it's, it's their 7-inch platform diagnostic scanner with the TPMS function built in. So, we'll... Uh, Open that kit and see what's in it. Then I've got, what else we have here? We have an i53 BT Sense for Bluetooth. So this is their, their newer technology where you used to have a vehicle control interface that looked like this. Now you just have one that's about that long and uh, with, with their new equipment for 2022. So that's the i53 BT. I'll put a link in the description for uh, sales at Foxwell Tech, so you can uh, email them and get pricing on all of these uh, these scanners because the pricing changes a lot. And oh hey, we have another thing down here in the box. What is this one? This is an i50 TS. So that's an i53. This, from what I understand, is strictly TPMS. It does, oh, it doesn't, no, wait a minute. The box says all makes and all models. The website says it's a TPMS tool, but it looks like it's an all makes, all models, all systems diagnostic tool uh, in the five inch range, five and a half inch range. And it does TPMS too. So that's pretty cool. I'm not quite sure. Like I said, if you go to the website, you can pull the comparison chart and find out exactly what the difference is between the i53 BT and the i53 uh, i50 ts i think i don't think this one performs the tpms function and then last what else we have in here Oops. more packaging and then we have the big fella which is this giant one which is the i80 uh, ts i've done other boxing videos on the uh, the i80 max which this is the same thing it just does the tpms function as well so Anyway, I've been dying to open this box to see what's inside so I can play around with these scan tools. And yeah, another big giant plastic case to fill my garage. Here's the box. We'll set that there. And then uh, let's, I'm gonna move the camera so you can get a better angle at what's inside. All right, so inside the i80 Max, or the i80TS. Again, this is their new Bluetooth interface module right here, where it used to look like this. Now it looks like that. So you plug that into the OBD2 port or your data link connector, whatever you want to call it. And it has a nice little place that goes in the case right there. You have a, a lot of product literature, uh, your i80TS Premier Diagnostic and TPMS Platform User's Manual have a ton of connectors which is standard with the uh oh hey hello <laughs> there's it's booby trapped so let me lay this out and this is cool because it came with a bunch of t10 sensors so we'll just open one of those up and these are the looks like this is, uh they, they make a rubber stem version and they make a metal stem version and this one it looks like it's black they make a silver like an aluminum colored uh sensor stem and then they make a black one so and then they make rubber ones as well so uh, you can 
contact sales at Foxwell and say, hey, I, I want some T10 sensors, but... So, and we've got uh, six, six of those sensors. Two, four, six, seven. Looks like seven. I got seven sensors. Uh, you have, uh, again, all of your diagnostic connectors for older, uh, this is older Mercedes-Benz connector. Oh, okay, have an extension for OBD2. Not uh, a bunch of cables. Oh, we've got eight. There's eight TPMS sensors. Tons of cables, various things. And then we have over on this side, your standard uh, OBD2 cables. This is new, this cable here. So we have an extension for onboard OBD2 and then, oh, okay, plug it in uh, ethernet. I'm wondering if that's for some type of network breakout box. Don't know. I have to read up. Wow. This is a ton of stuff in here. So, anyway, I'm not going to bore you with uh, all the cables because you can see those on the Foxwell website. What you, everybody wants to see is this tablet scanner. So, we're going to close that. Close that. And then we're going to take this protective cover off of the tablet and power it up so again like most of their scanners it has a camera on the back a little kickstand which is handy it's got some speakers it, uh, this is the symbol for the TPMS transmitter so this is the part of the scanner right here where you hold it against the valve stem to activate it looks like it has a microphone and then They've gone to a Type-C USB connector for charging. Got a USB port, HDMI out. And it's an Android 9, from what I understand, base system. And that's what the scanner looks like. I'm going to have to talk to Foxwell and say we really should uh, include a screen protector for these scan tools. I've got an i75TS that I scratched the screen a little bit, tried to polish it out, but that didn't work. So uh, screen protectors would be really handy because in the automotive world, you know, sometimes these things are get banged around a little bit. Pretty neat machine. I'm gonna plug this in and charge up the battery all the way. Power it down, just press and hold the power button and shut it down. We'll put that back in the case. And that's going to get a lot of use around here. Now let's see what else we've got besides the big fella. We've also got an i53BT multi-system tablet scanner. All makes all models, all systems. Auto VIN scan. Very similar uh, in function. Um, it's got a uh, four core processor, 1.3 gigahertz. Uh, let me see, it's got one gigabyte of, of RAM and it's DDR4, 32 gigabyte hard drive. Again, you can find all those st statistics online. Comes with a nice little carrying case that says Foxwell. And inside the case, we'll set this box over here. Inside the case, you have another cool little Vehicle control interface. I guess this is what everybody's going to. Um, the cables are connected. And on the old vehicle control interfaces, you had a connector here for USB to connect it to the tablet to sync the two when there was a software update. So what I imagine, they're doing the same thing here. This is the connector that connects the tablet to the VCI so you can make sure that they're synced before you try to perform diagnostics. And then the inside here, we've got... It's a miniature version of what I was just looking at. Does not have a camera in the back, doesn't have a kickstand, but it's small enough. And I'm sure it's uh, quite less expensive compared to the, uh, the other one. So again, press and hold the power button. Wait for the power off. 
Shut that down. Oh, let's put this back in the case. And we'll charge that up. Now, one thing I just noticed, it didn't come with a wall charger. It came with a cable. And that cable can be used to charge this, but it didn't come with a charger. So, and you know how most folks are, they've got a ton of chargers around the house. So I guess they're uh, assuming that you got a charger. Didn't come with one, but that's okay. Because if you're like me, you've got a ton of chargers laying around. Okay, so that is the uh, I, there's the I-80, which one? That's the I-53BT Bluetooth. So now we have the next one up here is the I-50TS. So again, TPMS, all makes, all models, all systems, auto VIN, uh, auto VIN scan, and very similar on the processor, memory speed, size of the memory, the type of battery as the, uh, the I-53BT. Looks like it's got the same, same case. And we'll open this one up, except this one came with a wall charger. So I have a, uh, a wall charger, a cable to charge it, a vehicle control interface. <clears throat> and since it's a TPMS tool as well, it came with four TPMS programmable sensors. And these sensors work great. It's really cool how you can uh, just swap them out. So all you have to do is connect the tool uh, to the car's OBD2 port pull the hex number out of the existing sensor that's in the, uh, the TPMS module in the car. You pull that hex number out and you just write it to this sensor. So the car doesn't know that you've got a new sensor. It's look, it thinks it's looking at the same sensor. It's just now it works. So it's uh, super easy to do once you get the hang of it. And I'll have to make a separate video on actually doing that. So again, you have pretty much the exact... Oh, this one's got a camera in the back. So uh, the, the i50TS does have the camera in the back, doesn't have the kickstand, has a speaker. Powered up, has the TPMS symbol. So again, this is the corner of the scan tool where you're going to aim it at the valve stem to activate the sensor. And there we go. I'm going to get it in the frame so you can see it. And we're going to hit that. Don't show that again. I agree. Okay, we'll register. Now, you'll notice on the menu here, you've got the TPMS menu. So this icon here, OE, is new. My account, firmware update, auxiliary tools, coverage list, remote control. So same features as the i50 3BT, but you've got the TPMS function and something that says OE. So what I imagine is that is that this is a list of all the different manufacturers, possibly part numbers and or frequencies that the TPMS sensor uses in a given make or model of car. So anyway, so that is the I-53TS, or I-50TS, excuse me. And we'll shut that down. And then uh, if you're looking for a scan tool, we'll put all this back away. If you're looking for a scan tool that's, uh, you know, if five and a half inches is too small. And ten and ten inches is too big. How about an I-70 TS2 premium diagnostic TPMS scanner? So this, all the same functions. Full, uh, all makes, all models. It came with four TPMS sensors, a wall charger, a cable, a vehicle control interface, some literature, and this is their 7-inch tablet scanner. So you got uh, small, medium, large. So again, it looks exactly like the uh, i53TS is just a little bit larger. And it's got a kickstand in the back, TPMS symbol, Foxwell charging point 
USB port to uh, connect to your vehicle control interface. So again, it looks exactly the same. As the i50 TS, as far as just a little bit larger screen. And it does have differences in memory. Uh, again, I'll put it in the description of the website. You can go check out the specs. And so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to get all these, charge them up to 100%, and then... Um, register all of them so I can see what the different functions are doing and then we'll we'll come back okay so that's uh, some of Foxwell's newest 2022 lineups not all their lineup but just some of it uh, that they sent me samples for and now we'll uh, take you inside connect to the laptop and show you how to uh, access their website so you can pull down all the uh, information on the various scanners and see which one uh, might be right for you. And also put some links in the description for, you know, how to contact them about uh, sales pricing and information. All right, so now if you're looking for more specific information on the Foxwell scanners that I was presenting in the video, simply click on products up here at the top. The menu pulls up and then you can come down here to, for example, the I-80TS, which was the first one we looked at. And you can see all the information about the, the scanner. 10.1 inch, specifications, you got a specific, oh, hey, let go. Specifications tab for uh, memory size, screen size, core, uh, six core, two gigahertz, you know, if you're into that kind of stuff. Most people just want a scan tool that works. It's got a 13 megapixel rear facing camera, 10,000 milliamp hour, 3.7 lithium polymer battery, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So you can get all the information here at the website. If you want to look at a different one, we looked at the i50 TS. You can pull that up and you can see what I was talking about. It says here, it says Premier TPMS service tool. But as you can see from the video, it actually, it's a full diagnostic platform scanner, all makes all models with bi-directional controls. So, and I think it says that here in the description, it just doesn't say it up here. So if you go, for example, I-72, the I-70TS, it will tell you automotive diagnostic and TPMS scanner. So a little bit different in the website, but uh, there you go. And then the I-53BT is over here under professional scanners. So it doesn't, a multi-system tablet scanner doesn't have the TPMS functions. But uh, anyway, that's the website. Again, if you want information on pricing and availability, send an email to sales at foxwelltech.com and they will respond to you with pricing information. So with that, we're going to sign off and look for some more videos on actually using the scanners to fix cars.